What is going on, Lunatics? We're going to be riffing here about Luna Classic to a dollar, and we're, we're going to be doing that because there's an actual reason for it. It's not hyperbole to say that there is a focus on the revival of Luna Classic, and it's happening right now. And I'm going to show you why it's happening right now. And it's not what you think, it's it's, but it is who you thought, maybe? I want to say, look, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified. Remember, CZ, he's going to be out of prison pretty soon. And what's he going to do next? Well, let's talk about what is going on with the run to $1, right? So how do we get to $1? Uh, there's a bunch of different ways. It's going to require some burns of supply. We cannot, at the current rate, do that. That would be a $6 trillion, $5 trillion market cap. Insane. Unheard of not going to happen, right? At best, maybe we could look at a hundred billion market cap, maybe a $50 billion market cap. So the question is, how do we burn some supply? Well, introducing Binance Thailand. Binance Thailand has decided that Luna Classic Revival and the Road to Resurrection is worth the risk. I'm sorry, Bleeves, did you just say risk? Uh, why, yes, Bleeves, I did say risk. Well, I'm glad you said Risk Believes because you're so handsome, first of all. Secondly, if you haven't already, guys, I think you should check out Terra Casino. It is right here. The link's in the description down below. You can sign up today and you can start trading and earning. Trading and earning and doing some risk-based gaming to try and earn yourself some more tokens. Now, you can use Luna Classic. You can use Luna. You can use uh, lose or use uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, BUSD, Polygon, USDC, USDT, or Dogecoin. You have a number of different options. You have a number of different games. There's an entire casino ready made for you. Not only can you do that, you can also do some risk-based uh, uh, wagering on price action for Bitcoin, if you'd like to do that. There's a lot that you can do over there, but you're going to have to sign up. You're going to have to give it a try. Also, remember that Terra Casino and by proxy, Terra Finance, they help this entire ecosystem uh, to thrive. And it helps me to continue to provide you with the content. Remember, both of these different things are in the top 15 all time of burners in this ecosystem. And now back to you, Bleaves. Thanks, Bleaves. He's so handsome. He's so cute. He's a great guy. Anyway, guys, so uh, now let's look at the risk that Thailand's taking. Binance rolls out Lunk Revival campaign to repeg USTC to $1. The Thai branch of Binance gets the ball rolling on a campaign that aims to bring Lunk back to life. Now, crypto exchange Binance decided to take its Lunk rejuvenation efforts to another level. Binance Thailand, a joint venture between Binance and Gulf Binance, listed both Lunk and Terra Classic last week. The, ban uh, the Binance Thai subsidiary launched a sweepstakes campaign as well as other rewarding activities in relation to Terra Classic token. Firstly, Binance TH issued a gift package of 100,000 Lunk tokens to customers trading Lunk for the first time. Uh, in order to participate uh, in these trading activities, Binance customers must first complete your KYC, etc. Cetera, et cetera. This offer is limited to the first 200 people. Now, this is, a, this is the important part. Additionally, to the ongoing Lunk sweepstakes, Binance Thailand pledged to contact those who suffered from Lunk uh, the most to invite them to join the discussion and share their experience. The Thai branch of Binance is referred to uh, is referring to the USTD pegging back in May 22 when the algorithmic stablecoin crumbled. Um, as, a as a consolation prize, Binance Thailand offered officially branded merchandise called the Binance TH Swag. Uh, the elaborate uh, Lunk rejuvenation campaign has been going since mid-22 when CZ announced that the exchange would start to periodically burn Lunk tokens out of compiled trading fees every month. As of press time, the remaining uh, circulating supply has been reduced to $5.51 trillion, with Binance accounting for over 50% of all-time Lunk burns. Again, Binance, the big burner, MEXT was up there actually pretty good. Uh, Cremation Coin doing pretty good. But Terraport Finance, Terra Casino, all in the top 15. Um, so despite a 3% upswing over the past 24 hours, uh, USTC still trades below 2 cents. Now, uh, whilst re Lunk Rejuvenation is a long-term process, it dropped below a 500 million global market cap. It's far away from returning to the top 100. Repeg to $1 depends on multiple factors, including a coordinated plan with major centralized exchanges to burn a part of the remaining USTC supply. So that's where we're looking to. Terra Luna, rebranded since the 2022 fiasco, has helped Layer 1 chain restore some of its initial functions, while crypto investors are still seeking closure for the massive losses incurred. So, what does all that mean? Well, it doesn't really mean a ton. It just means that the road to a dollar is supported. 
It, it means that the road to getting this revival underway is at least starting to really manifest itself in the fact that Binance is now having discussions about how do we get it done? So they're looking for it now. Why? Well, because Binance holds the most supply. Binance has the most vested interest in it. And why bet against Binance? I mean, they know exactly what this can do. They understand. And I would think that in that context, they're probably going to make that happen. You know, I think that that's uh, um, I think that's a really great opportunity. So if you haven't already, I would certainly be looking for you know some kind of additional information coming out of Binance, maybe Binance Thailand, about what the next step is. But it is my opinion the next step is going to be a, a, a full-on repeg. And that full-on repeg would have, again, since we have tax to gas, and by the way, since this is tax to gas and that's how it would happen, the, the, the whole underlying sentiment here is that the framework has to be implemented, and that's five weeks out. So in five weeks, we will have a tax to gas implementation. So what if we set up a repeg proposal where when you trade USTC to Luna Classic, then whatever you sell in USTC, a uh, portion of that goes back to the community pool. A portion of that is burned. And then another portion of that is used to buy Luna Classic and also burned. And then when you trade a LUNC, L-U-N-C, to USTC, not everything, but if you burn it to that, uh, then what happens is LUNC, most of it goes back into the pool and then a portion of it gets burned and then another portion of it buys USTC and burns USTC until we get to a real number that's manageable. And I think that that's the process and the, and the way that this happens at its best going forward. Now, if you are on a centralized exchange and you are trying to do that, well, that presents itself a problem because Binance doesn't want to give up their money. The, the most important thing to remember is to them, Luna Classic has value. Now, how do they turn that value back into billions? Well, you don't have to let them cook. So they're going to be in charge of, of, of a lot in this, even though we won't want them to be in charge. As the, har as the largest holder of that supply, there is a lot of concern that they're going to, you know, they're going to tip the scale in a way that helps them the most. And the way that helps them the most is not necessarily that reduction of supply. So most of the burn is going to be probably on chain. It's probably going to be in, uh, if you're trading only Luna Classic to USTC, I hope that makes sense to you because if you're trading Luna Classic to BUSD or BNB or something like that, that doesn't matter. Th that doesn't matter because that's not going to be that internal burn mechanism. Only when you send Luna Classic into USTC and USTC into Luna Classic, that's probably where it all starts. It'll manifest itself afterwards, maybe in some more stuff. I don't know. I'm just a nerd uh, that, that wants to see the burn. I don't have the technicals on it. So I'm giving you guys this pie in the sky sort of idea that I think is of value. You let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure, by the way, that you hit the like button when you're watching this video. Uh, you know, I get a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, sometimes five thousand views on some of these videos, up to thirteen or fourteen thousand. But guess what? If you guys don't hit that like button, more people don't see it. If you want people to see Luna Classic and you want to see this community revive and thrive, you have to do your part, and it's that like button. And it doesn't hurt your finger at all, unless you have, you know, I, I don't know, arthritis or something in your finger. And if you do, what are you watching YouTube for? You should be out working out or doing something. Anyway. I think that we're on the, the path, that the path has finally started. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, if we're on the path, then why, why isn't the price action going up? And that's a fair question. Well, the market is just, it's Bitcoin's market. Until it's not Bitcoin's market, it is a Bitcoin market. Now, with that being the case, then, you know, y your obvious question is, well, you know, how do we get beyond whatever it is that's going on? How do we put ourselves in a, a better frame of mind, a better circumstance, a better, you know, revival thing. You know, how do we get to, 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 you know, whatever that point is, how do we get to that point that we start to see the big moves? Well, patience, grasshopper, uh, is the, the nature of it. I'm going to show you the charts in just a second and we're going to look at it. But, uh, you know, I think that there's some, some, some real opportunity. Now, before we get started with that, let's talk about uh, the communication over here. Validators hide in their groups. Oh, uh, and then we have a problem with voting. Oh, and, and then we have, I, I, you know, just just a, a lot of complaint. A lot of com a lot of complaint. I, I don't know. Uh, so let, let's check price action right now. Um, 
structurally, let's talk about the structure. I'm going to remove this right here because I don't think we need it anymore uh, as a as a show there of, of where we are. Look how incredibly we've done this, right? Uh, there's your support. There's your support. There's your support. What happens every time we hit that support? Boom. Whatever. Uh, we didn't even come down to the support. We hit the 200 MA right there and then boom. Uh, and then we came back down and what do we do? Support and then kind of came up here but we didn't break out same it's kind of the reverse of what happened over here we didn't get to the the goal of down here so you know that move is still coming and i know i'm just kind of drawing all over the page here just have a little faith that you know the next move here is going to be the three zeros two uh, that'll be a doubling uh a, a little bit over a doubling of the value now from that position that's where things change. If we reject off of it, then we're coming back down and we're just going to bing bong around and do this and continue to do this. If that doesn't happen and we get up here and we get a nice little wick above with a little more support and then we get a little support down here, then that's going to mean the next big breakout and that's going to be to 32. So um, that's kind of where it is. Now, by the way, when I say 32, I do mean that there's a range here. And instead of this, I should probably use a rectangle and give you like 32 all the way down to, I want to say somewhere in this range right here of 28. So, you know, that's the next area. That, that's after this move, of course, after this, this break to the upside. So you know, that's what we're looking for. Now we're going to need some catalysts. I told you guys before five weeks or so is where the catalysts kind of come in. So we'll be watching for that. As far as volume goes, volume down again, significantly, as far as volume goes, volume down significantly on USTC price act, all of it's down. Uh, again, it's a Bitcoin market until it's not a Bitcoin market. Now, in the event that you are in the market for trading, let me introduce you to Terraport. We've looked at it every single day. Uh, you've got a list of the hot tokens, just like on Dex Tools, just like on Dex Screener, if you want to know what the top ones are. And uh, we've got a scroll right here of what's trending, and you can see like what the percentage increase or decrease is for each and every one of those. And look at that, by the way, that USTC Terra pairing uh, spiked super hard over the last couple of hours. So, um, you know, just watch out for uh, some of these, you know, by trade volume. When you see a nice dip like that, maybe it's it's a good idea to, to, to take that pairing and buy some, see what happens. You know, this is about pairings right now. So you get a good pairing, then you might get just a real nice shot. So uh, go to terraport.finance for your trading and to buy some of these meme coins. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of them out here that are, that are available. Check your liquidity. Do your own research. Be responsible about your investments. And if you're responsible with your investments and you make a little bit of money, Terra Casino. Now, uh, as far as station goes, uh, the 12116, this is the message update parameters, okay? Now, you notice that it's not going to pass, right? It was really, really, it was running super hard. And, you know, we were getting, you know, a lot of votes uh, along the way here that, you know, this is what we're going to do. And then all nodes stepped in uh, with their just absolutely no. Well, uh, you know, they, they pulled out their twisted sister wigs. They're like, we're not going to take it. And, you know, I don't think that this is going to pass. Like, I, I think that this is the nail in the coffin. And remember, the, the conversation we had yesterday was about communication. Well, you know, what is the communication? Well, well th this is this is insanity. This proposal was put up, and it's insane because this is what it is right here. This is this is it. This is your proposal. Uh, so, Cosmos staking beta update message update parameters, right? So we don't even know what that is. It just it makes no it makes absolutely no sense. Like we're not even putting effort into this. So that's bad look, right? However, let's go over here and let's look at what it actually is. Here here it is. Parameters unbonding time, uh, 1.8144 million seconds. What is that? 1.814400 seconds to days, right here. 21 days. So it's a 21 day unbonding period. So nothing has changed fundamentally there. Maximum number of validators, 130. There it is. There it is. Uh, the change in validators to 130 is what they're looking for. And I think it's 100 now. Uh, they want to change it to more validators. Max entry seven, historical entries 10,000. Uh, bond denominator is Uluna and minimum commission rate is 0.025. So two and a half percent is the, the minimum commission. They're doing a whole lot of different things in here uh, that they're throwing in to kind of, you know, um, uh, this is just, they, they didn't even try. They, they just didn't even bother to, to, they disguised everything to create a change here. So, you know, um, that's why you're getting no's because they're looking at it and they're saying, well, this is insane. Like who would do this? So uh, flesh out your proposal, put it in words and use English or, you know, use Korean if you want to. I don't give a shit. Uh, but it just, you know, kind of wild that some of this stuff is happening. Now, 
Let's look at burn tracker over here, 299 million. So we've got, you know, we've got a nice little run of burns going on. You know, nothing massive. Again, that 274 billion going into this total lunk burn when um, uh, when 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 Terraform Labs and the SEC agree. And by the way, uh, the way that this is going to happen, the way this is going to happen is that first of all, the agreement with Terraform Labs, and I went and looked at section seven of the agreement and what they're going to do is they're going to burn the keys to the wallet. Once the keys to the wallet are burned, it is now a dead wallet, but those 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 coins are still going to be on chain. So there's 74 billion Luna Classic on that. So then we're going to have to put up our community proposal to burn those off of the supply. And if that is approved, then that will be burned and the remaining supply would then be lowered from that point. And now the other question that I think Mr. Diamond Hands himself asked on Twitter is how do we know that it's going to be burned? Well, um, Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's going to be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore Fi. Now, what's going on with Cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will, give me just a moment here. I'm going in, by the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract going to end right here 19 june 2025 we're going to go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game guys i put in half a bitcoin uh previously if you remember that was thirty thousand dollar bitcoin at that point so you know we put in about fifteen thousand dollars my crude interest so far and, and by the way i do have this is a share because it's a 50 50 split but my cut of that eighty four thousand two hundred forty one dollars right now in bitcoin so this is an incredible rate of return so far for Cryptonomy.finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today. We don't know that it's going to be burned necessarily. We know that the keys are required to be burned in the settlement with the SEC. Also, that they cannot take the money out. They can't use it for paying the settlement because they're not paying $4.5 billion. They're going to pay whatever money they have, and then it's going to be closed. Because again, this was this is a setup. This is a setup so that the federal government can continue its attack on XRP to get the maximum amount of grease they can out of that wheel. So um, they're not paying $4.5 billion. They're going to pay somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 million. Duquan probably going to pay about $100 million, and then it's just going to disappear from there. Uh, and then, by the way, everything is going to be put into what's called a disgorgement fund. And that disgorgement fund will then be issued to all stakeholders of Luna and UST that have lost their money. They can have a claim and they can get a portion of those losses back. That's basically what's going to happen right there. Any unclaimed money is going to go to the federal government after a period of time, of course, because that's the way it works. So... That's what's going on. So you guys, I think it's time for you to get kind of excited about this. Uh, remember, the market is still in a dip. So is it going to explode in the next little while? No, it's, it's, it's not. We're, we're at any moment it could, but we're not really there yet, if you will, but we're getting close. So the fact that we're getting close should be a testament at this point to, you know, there's some opportunity here. All you have to do, just have a little patience, a little faith in this process. And remember, hit the like button. If you want more people getting involved than people like me who showcase Luna Classic in all its form, um, Terra Classic, uh, or Terra, Terra Port, Terra Casino, uh, Lunk Burn Tracker, which we've looked at, uh, Lunk Dash, which we've looked at, all of these different things. There's a new unofficial Lunk website coming. You know, all of these different pieces that go into, and the meme coins that are out there. If you go to coinhall.org or if you go to Terra Port to, to, to do meme coin trading, all of these different things, all of these different pieces that are out here, this is an ecosystem that is slowly but surely being developed. And if you engage with those, then we're going to be better. But people don't know about those because you have to share my videos with people so that they know you have to hit that like button you have to do all of the pieces that go with it and then if you do that then everything works out uh, better 
than it was before. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for listening to me rant. I appreciate each and every one of you that I do this every day and sometimes go crazy. And then you look at me and you're like, what is this guy doing? I'm just doing crazy stuff. So um, remember, it's not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you very much. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.